now we're putting Fire City. I need to figure out way how I can get the whole screen and how to fit my side race, the phone side race. I'm not a pro gamer, oh, that's YouTube streamer. And most of the time I stream food, I, I make food videos, but this is special, so. This takes place in the 80s. Or the 80s, 80, late 80s too. Maybe early 70s, early 80s, and late 80s. Maybe the start of the 90s too. That's a cheap one. That's so cool. This is going to be the acid here. Oh. This one I don't need as bright because it's all he bright. And the GTA 3, it's got the dark game. It's like a Batman movie. It's pretty dark. But this is like a Marvel. Tommy Vicetti? Huh, <laughs> shit. Didn't think I'd ever let him out. He kept his head down. Help people forget. People will remember soon enough. When they see him walking down the streets of their neighborhoods, it will be bad for business. Well, what are we gonna do, Sonny? You treat him like an old friend and keep him busy out of town, okay? We've been talking about expanding down south, right? Vice City is 24 karat gold these days. The Colombians, the Mexicans, hell, even those Cuban refugees are cutting themselves a piece of some nice action. But it's all drugs, Sonny. None of the families will touch that shit. Times are changing. The families can't keep their backs turned while our enemies reap the rewards. So. We send someone down to do the dirty work for us and cut ourselves a nice, quiet slice, okay? Who's our contact down there? Ken Rosenberg. How's he gonna hold the city's We don't need him to. We just set him loose in Vice City. We give him a little cash to get started, okay? Just give him a few bucks. Then we go down. Pay him a little visit, right? See how he's doing. Uh, Ken Rose. 
Rosenberg here. Hey, 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 great, hey. Well, uh, for I'm this new to me, okay? GTA now, players to the suppliers and the GTA 5, yes, he's on 5 City. So, uh, if all goes well, we should, uh, he's also in Livers, which is, you know, Livers, I think he's in Chung Angels, too. So, they're brothers, okay? One operation, he's pretty much in the game, huh? For old GTAs. And if I him back in the new one, kind of. Okay, that's them in the chopper. All right, here's the deal. They want a straight exchange on open ground. All right? You can heal okay. in cutscenes on the campaign in a ally on the radio. I'm gonna sell it now. Got it? 100% pure grade A Colombian, my friend. Let me see it. The greens? 10s and 20s. Used. I think we have a deal, my friend. <laughs> oh, shit. So how they were shooting at Tommy and his friends, <laughs> or co co-workers, or colleagues, or families, or how they were shooting at him. How they were shooting at them is pretty different to that, I remember. The sound and that they took cover in the first one. Ah, oh, so all the wreck in this one. Alright, let's show y'all some. Look at that. Look at that. Speeches. Speeches. Even a hotel and police officers. Oh, and uh, this fire board. No, it's not called that in GTA. But it's a fire board. A GTO. Uh, that's when you save the game. This game is not ripoff. Y'all just bunch of new. Game was that never go up with this game. I don't know what this is for the details. Hello, Tommy. Tommy! Tommy, it's been too long. I know, I know. You're just overwhelmed with emotion. 15 years. Seems like only yesterday. I guess that's a perspective, Trey. Hey. Doing time for the family is no piece of cake, but the family looks after its own, okay? How'd the deal go down? You sitting on some white gold? Look, Sonny, we were set up. The deal was an ambush. Harry and Lee are dead. You better be kidding me, Tommy! Tell me you still got the money. No, Sonny. I don't have the money. That was my money, Tommy! My money! You better not be screwing me, Tommy, because you know I'm not a man to be screwed with! Wait, Scotty. 
You have my personal assurance that I'm going to get you your money back and the drugs, and I'm going to mail you the dicks of those responsible. Hey, I already know that. You're not a fool coming, but I warn you, neither am I. If it was anybody else, you'd be dead already. But because it's you, because we got history, I'm going to let you handle this. Thanks, honey. You got my word. I'll be in touch. Hmm. So y'all don't know, but back in the 80s, and maybe early 90s, drugs like cocaine and heroin and meth was a big deal. That be in Miami where this take place. Shut up, sit down, relax. 